In this short video, we will discuss closing transfers. We will look at why closing transfers are done, when closing transfers are done, and how closing transfers are done. Closing transfers are done to determine if a business made a profit or a loss over a specific period. This specific period is usually a one-year period known as the financial year. The closing transfers are also done to assist with the preparation of the financial statements. The closing transfers are done after all transactions have been recorded in the general ledger. Firstly, a business will prepare a closing trial balance and thereafter all closing transfers will be done. This means that we are currently moving from the processing phase on the accounting cycle to the output phase. Closing transfers are done on the last day of the financial period, after all transactions have been recorded. These closing transfers are the last journal entries made during a financial period and prepares the financial records to start the new financial period. The pre-closing trial balance is prepared before the closing transfers and the totals of the income and expense accounts on this trial balance corresponds with the totals on the statement of profit or loss and other comprehensive income. Once the closing transfers are completed, only accounts reflecting on the statement of financial position will have balances and thus the post-closing trial balance will correspond to the balances used to compile the statement of financial position. To determine the financial results of the entity, all nominal accounts, or in other words, income and expense accounts, need to be closed off. All income and expense accounts are therefore only used for the financial year before it is closed. This also means that during the next financial year, each of these accounts do not start with an opening balance and will therefore only reflect the transactions taking place in that specific financial year. To close off nominal accounts simply means that all income and expense accounts for that specific period need to be zeroed out. The trading account is used to determine the gross profit of a business and is only used in retail entities and not service entities. This means that it is only used for businesses that buys and sells inventory. The reasoning behind this is because gross profit is calculated by deducting cost of sales from sales. The trading account is closed off by transferring the gross profit to the profit and loss account. The profit and loss account is used to determine the net profit or net loss of a business and is used in both retail and service entities. Once all income and expense accounts are closed off, the profit and loss account is closed off by transferring the net profit or net loss to the capital account. Before you start with your closing transfers at year end, all adjustments must be done. The order in which accounts are closed off is as follows. First, the net sales and cost of sales are closed off to the trading account. Thereafter, the trading account is closed off to the profit and loss account. Once that is done, all income and expenses are closed off to the profit or loss account. Thereafter, the profit or loss account is closed off to the capital account. And lastly, the drawings account is closed off to the capital account. In this short video, we discussed the reason for doing closing transfers, when closing transfers are done, and how closing transfers are done. 